Good morning, SHS, and welcome back. I'm Ella Hopkins. And I'm Sydney Montour. And will everybody please rise for a moment's dance? And now Sydney will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the <laughs> republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. All right. Welcome back. We are officially on our last week of school. So, two more days. For summertime. Yeah, two more days. Scary. Yeah, I know. But our weather, it will be hot and humid the next few days with a little chance of rain. We should be good and dry for graduation which mm. is great because if it's in the auditorium, we only get five tickets, so that'd be sad. Yeah, but it's sad. It's also some great baseball weather, and speaking of baseball, Varsity Baseball defeated Pleasanton in a one-game series Friday, 13-3. So congrats to them, and we move on into the fourth round of the Texas baseball playoffs, and we play New Braunfels Davenport <laughs> in the best of two of three series. The first game is Thursday at CBC, at 6 p.m. and the second game is Saturday at Northeast Sports Complex at 2 which is in San Antonio and game 3 <coughs> will be 30 minutes afterwards on Saturday if needed so good luck yes. boys and the athletic picnic is tomorrow if you have any questions talk to your coaches you know and the muscle puff tournament is Thursday May 25th and tickets will be sold Tuesday today and Wednesday more information will come tomorrow at the office so go get your tickets you know you know the drill have fun yeah. it's the last day of school so yeah <laughs> today we have two trivias that our very own Sydney does not know the answers to so we're we doing both yeah we are doing both so today's first trivia is which country invented tea I seriously don't know the answer <laughs> and we were talking about this a long time before I'm gonna guess England, but it's not a bad guess. It's not a bad at guess, first. but I know. You wanna know what she said at first? No, <laughs> Boston. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Boston Tea Party. Anyway, well, the answer is China. What? Yeah, it is. Crazy. That's actually random. Yeah. Anyways, okay. and the second trivia of the day is how many people have walked on the moon? But I don't know who walked it. How many people? I'm gonna guess like five. The answer is twelve. Can you think about how long ago it was when they discovered, or not discovered, the moon when they walked on the moon? I mean, we've advanced. A lot more people have been on the moon. Oh, yeah, true. But, I mean, I didn't know that until I looked it up, so. Anyways, who wants to go all the way up there? <laughs> all right, thought of the day. Walk with the wise, become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. Ella, would you like to elaborate? <laughs> Basically, don't be around people who aren't good for you. That's how I see it. It's like yeah. if, some, if, you, if you are surrounded by people who are acting like fools, it's only going to bring you down with them. Be with good people because it gives you a good, like, what's the word I'm looking for? A good character. Rep yeah, reputation. reputation. You know. Yeah. But anyways, happy last week of school. Happy Tuesday. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. <laughs> 